The Ground Control Follow Spot System by PRG. The primary advantage of the Ground Control Follow Spot System is that it allows designers to utilize a follow spot in situations where a user cannot be positioned in the truss. The system consists of several components. The first component is the fixture. The fixture is a Bad Boy HP that's been upgraded and optimized for follow spot work. It has a brighter lamp running at 1,640 watts and improved pan-tilt motor code, making it much more responsive. It has a high-definition camera attached to the front of it that outputs 1080i HD-SDI feeding down to a monitor on the controller. The fixture also has color correction filters, both CTO, CTB, and minus green, all of which are ideal for follow spot work. The second component of the ground control follow spot system is the truss box. The fixture connects to the truss box via a 5-pin XLR, with a 4-pin XLR for both camera power and data, as well as a BNC cable for video from the fixture. The truss box converts all of this data to a quad fiber optic. The fiber connects the truss box to the controller on the ground, which can be up to 2,000 feet away from the fixture. The third component is the controller itself. With a similar look and feel to a traditional follow spot, the controller provides all control inputs for the fixture. Pan, tilt, color, intensity, edge, zoom, and frost. The controller's upper enclosure has five connections, power in and through, an XLR 5-pin in and through for DMX control, fiber optic output for the quad fiber up to the truss box, and a BNC output for video. The ground controller also enables users to output the video feed from the camera for use as a preview monitor or iMag. All systems for the ground control follow spot are operated from the controller, either with or without using a lighting console. All of the camera functions are located at the rear of the controller. There are two buttons for zoom, a single button for night vision, a single button for reticle, and a camera iris knob. Also located at the back of the controller are the fixture dimmer fader and blackout button. At the front of the controller, we have a second fader. This fader is for zoom on the fixture. It is very similar to the trombone on a traditional follow spot. Located next to the zoom fader is an index finger operated iris control knob that is strictly for controlling the fixture's beam size iris. On top of the controller, there are three additional encoders. The first one is for future use. The other two control edge and frost. Just below these encoders, there are eight user definable preset buttons. These presets can be used to store just about anything. It's like having a color boom on a traditional follow spot with the addition of other features like frost, edge, and zoom stored as well. The controller also contains a touch screen. The touch screen enables users to make configuration changes such as setting the DMX address, storing presets, and adjusting both the controller's and fixture's home position. As an example of efficiency, the ground control follow spot system used on a recent project not only helped reduce the overall rig weight by nearly 12,000 pounds, but also utilized significantly less space on the lighting trusses. As the operator is no longer in the air, designers are now able to place fixtures in nearly any position, providing optimal flexibility as to where and how follow spots are used.